Genesis Handle is up there for you, Seabell ATL. And she's going to talk about superheroes, integrating measurement, design thinking, and the school community. Thanks. I'm super nervous. I'm a newbie and adorably shy. Okay. Woo! I'm about five minutes ago to do this, but my TMC one thing, which was two things, was take more risks and realize that I am whatever enough to contribute more than the boss. Also, the fifth grade project, so I'm trying to get some elementary love in there, and hopefully it's an idea that you could take and use at all levels. So um, I just basically am showing you the project photos. I don't have anything fancy, but um, this was my first attempt this year at trying to incorporate design thinking process into math projects. Um, and so this was sort of the model our school was working with this year. Um, so I was inspired for this project by a parent who was talking to me at a conference. She designs um, custom men's clothing, like his mm -hmm. shirts and that kind of thing, and how much math is involved in her job. So I thought I would love to use something like that to teach measurement to kids, um, the real world application-ish, and then I realized I know nothing about sewing, so um, I had to scale it back a little bit, and we came up with the idea of designing capes, um, superhero capes, and so here was the parent, and sort of talking about her job and how she uses measurement, uh, presenting to the kids to sort of kick off the project, um, you know, looking at all the fabrics and everything, and asking lots of questions, um, and then each group of four kids was given a client. Um, and this was somebody around the school, school community. I tried to choose somebody on purpose that was someone they probably didn't know. So um, someone new to the school, there was teachers, staff members, you know, maintenance workers, all kind of random people that I had recruited ahead of time. Um, and you know, lots of other life skills uh, came into this project, such as teaching kids, how do you write an email to someone to set up a meeting? What kind of information would be important? Like what day or what time or why you want to meet or how long it might last? Um, so that all kinds of uh, other skills were popping up, peripheral skills we call them, as we worked through this. So here they're emailing, very important. Then we brought in all different kinds of capes and thought about if you're trying to make a cape, what kinds of measurements do you need to take on a person? So they looked at all different styles of capes, where they fall, how long do you want your cape to be? Do you want it to be at your butt? Do you want it to be at your kneecaps? Where do you want it to fall? All kinds of uh, fun playing around with capes, taking notes and writing down types of measurements you would need. Um, and then we used those ideas and made prototypes of capes. So if I think I need to know the circumference of somebody's neck, let me measure that on this mannequin and see how it works. So then they realized, oh, I don't need this and that measurement, or I need this one instead. Um, so they worked with mannequins and made a cape prototype on grid paper and then copied it onto little pieces of fabric and then had their practice capes. Um, and that was lots of fun, but then we knew that our clients were not all the same size, right? So that's why we couldn't just come up with one. I, I teach fifth grade, but it's a, a middle school model, so I have four classes. Um, so we knew we couldn't just come up with one for all of them. We had 16 unique clients. Then they went and interviewed their clients because part of the job uh, was that their cake should represent the unique characteristics of their clients and why they're everyday heroes. And we had talked about, we've done some background with that, and the language arts teacher had as well. So they got to know somebody new on campus. It's a K 12 school, so we had uh, lots of opportunities to meet new people. Um, and the hope was that then next time they see that person around campus, they have a new familiar face. Um, and they had to measure their clients, which they all thought was sort of awkward. Um, the first time meeting somebody, but they did take measurements of you know shoulder width and all different kinds of things. And then we learned about how to write a thank you note uh, to somebody for giving up their time for us um, and just being appreciative and mindful of that. Um, one says, uh, we realized we went a little, uh, we, we were a little, went a little over time and apologized, you know, and some of them say. Uh, what they were surprised about and what they learned. So we took the client's measurements and used those based on the prototype to then on large grid paper start making a pattern for the cape. And you can kind of see there on the right side, I had given them an idea of what a pattern might look like. Um, and it got into some math that I hadn't really thought about ahead of time about, you know, with if I know the circumference of somebody's neck, how do I use that to create the opening of the cape that's not going to choke them and not going to fall off? 
and do you need to overestimate and underestimate on all of these things? Um, what type of measurement is best, etc. Um, so here they are making, they put those pa uh, patterns onto muslin and made them into actual capes and then they had to create patterns or objects, symbols that sh represented the client and they had requirements like one had to have line symmetry, one had to have two right angles and two obtuse angles, or yeah, not that, but um, various requirements for the symbols on the capes that represented their client. And um, we went to, we have a costume shop, we have a drama department at school for the upper learning, so uh, the costume shop director was awesome and let us come in, and uh, they have all this fabric there to pick from. And she told them a lot about what she does, to get, again, to get to know a little bit more about the school. So then they had their, they shared their sort of rough draft of their cape with other people and got feedback. Um, and decided, oh, we want our cape to be longer, that's way too short, or we want to move these symbols here and there. Um, let's see, that's another one. And then we get down, we've got our final pattern and the fabric, and now let's make the real cape. So here's some of that. We had parents come in, because again, I know nothing about sewing. Parents, other teachers, volunteers who did come in to help the kids physically sew the two pieces of their cape together. So they had like an inside collar and an outside collar. Um, lots of collaboration and discussion and heated discussion going on here. Um, and again, another great life skill. And then it sort of ended at the end of year assembly for the middle school. I just want to show a quick clip. You probably won't be able to hear it, but they each group got up in front of the whole middle school and um, shared. Sort of, it was a surprise. The clients didn't know what they were making. Um, they just knew that they were making something, so they were surprised to see. So won't be able to really hear it, but so they're. So their client was the college counselor. So they've got like a cap and gown here. He likes to scuba dive. He wants to visit all 50 states. Um, he's visited 47 so far. This is a charitable organization he's a part of. And then um, this is the symbol of our school, that G. So um, they're sharing that about him, about why he's a hero to the whole um, assembly there. And then they came up and got them. So we'll see. And these people, our clients, were, they were basically in tears. Like, they felt so honored and special because it's people that don't always get a lot of recognition. I think us as teachers are a lot of times kind of the face of the school, but there's still like many other people doing a lot of important work. So we had people from the business office and all over uh, being our heroes. So um, I was really just hoping that this might give you something to think about, about how you could get your school community involved and um, give your kids a chance to get to know new people and uh, use math in kind of a different way. Um, so we did that. We had 16 clients, so that took a little bit of time. But, um, these were a couple of their reflections about what was most surprising, um, how teacher and other people work at our school could be a hero in so many ways. Uh, it was way harder than I thought it would be. Um, making capes is harder than it looks. How many copies of the capes we had to make? We talked a lot about iterations and drafts. Um, math is everywhere. What was most challenging? Uh, having to make and measure the cape to exact measurements, accomplishing measurements and working as a group, uh, making the designs and a prototype, getting to know a teacher and rewarding them for being a good person, um, the power to design the cape for what our client likes and enjoys, and the last person you can't really see, I enjoy creating the cape because creating is what I love. I learned how to add inches so that it would not be too tight. I've learned that creating a cape takes a team effort. I've learned that anyone can be a hero, and I've learned to be more open about my peers' ideas. So a lot of cool math learning, but other kinds of learning happening. So um, the design thinking process really helped with that, and I hope it gives you a few ideas. Thanks.